So right here, that is a shot over F1, is basically a gyro stabilized camera system meant for a helicopter. So Ty Evans sticks it on the front of his vehicle, to film skateboarding. So this is the F1 shot over. This is a six axis gyro stabilized camera system. This goes underneath a helicopter. If you look around, you see a helicopter flying around with a little ball underneath it. It's usually what these systems are. Uh, we've adapted this to go on the front of the van and this is how we got a bunch of those amazing shots in the flat earth. Focus, zoom, iris, and then everything kind of floats inside of here. This is all controlled by magnetic strips that are inside here. And there's an IMU and a brain, and it's all talking to itself, reading all the bumps and shakes. You go left, it goes right. You go up, it goes down. So any sort of shake, all of that's getting rid of inside of here, and this is staying perfectly stable. All this is here, we have it mounted on the front. And then this is fiber optic that comes out, goes inside, and then we control everything inside right here. People think that we're some type of like special unit or something when we're traveling around and every gas station you at least get two people asking what it is. And Had a laser beam, barbecue, weather detector, like a radar. Shit, only a couple people would ever say a camera, which is hilarious. We were doing these shots where we'd pull the nose of the van straight to the bottom of a rail shooting up. And then as the skater comes right at the camera, we'll rip back in reverse and we have this amazing parallax. You're controlling all this with your control system. Your zoom that you're zooming with your thumb, your pointer finger, you're adjusting your focus and you're racking focus as this person's coming towards you. And then you're using the joystick to pan the camera. And then you're also communicating with the driver to give the motion of the van to get the parallax to get the shot. There's so many factors coming together to get some shots. And when everything works like that with the shot over, it's amazing. The nice thing is with these new red cameras to Helium is that uh, the sensitivity enables us to film at night, literally. You could push that camera even more by something called frame averaging and frame summing. So we were actually combining multiple frames on top of each other to take those motion streaks and blur them out even more. And we were basically come up with this new hyperlapse. It looks like Tron. It looks completely CGI. Saying that we could put a red weapon inside the shot or go fly around shooting skateboarding. It's the best combination ever. You know, these last couple of years I started doing a bunch of aerial filmmaking, using the shot over, flying around with the system, and it doesn't feel like work. Even though he's known for skateboarding, um, he, he's really good at filming in general and, and painting the picture and commercials, and he's a commercial director and all that kind of stuff. And so we brought him in to film all of our company videos that we do, and he's taught us a lot. It's the most amazing experience to be able to use a camera system like that. For me, I feel like it's the ultimate filmmaking tool. And it's a great relationship, and me and Ty are constantly learning from each other, um, coming up with just new creative ways of filming stuff, and trying to be different. That's the most important thing. If it's already been done before, if it's an ABD, we don't do it. Shot over has been amazing, man. They really supported Ghost and all of our projects, and to be able to use a shot over on the flat earth has been the most amazing experience, man, and just up the production value of what all these shots look like.